Hey guys, I'm Adam and I'm a filmmaker from Australia. Today I'm gonna talk about a spec commercial that I shot very recently. This was a spec commercial for a local brewery. I'll show you guys the commercial now and then we'll break it down afterwards and run through how everything was done. I've been trying to go out and just shoot things just for fun more often. Uh, this can be hard, especially if you're working a lot. You you just, it, it becomes just work. But I think it's important to go out and shoot stuff that doesn't have money, it doesn't have like clients associated with certain expectations. You can go out, there's no risk, and you're probably more inclined to take more creative risks um, and maybe maybe become a little bit better and, and hone in your style a little bit more. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway, let's jump into the breakdown of this. We'll run through the shots. I'll kind of explain how each one was done. So for this, we just shot on the Pocket 4K. That's what I own. So that's what we used. So the handheld rig for the Pocket 4K for this particular shoot was super stripped down. I just had the NPF adapter plate with an NPF battery that goes into the 12 volt port. Um, there's no weight in this. So having a body without IBIS and lenses that don't have IBIS, can cause a lot of micro jitters. So you've really got to be careful of that, but I kind of got away with it using a wider lens and adding a little bit of uh, warp stabilization in post. I also had a Viltrox EFM2 adapter. Some of these are bad, some of these are not very good adapters. I think there's a bunch of lemons in circulation. Uh, some of them are actually okay. I don't know if they're as good as the Metabones in terms of optical quality, but they are a lot cheaper and the Metabones for the Pocket 4K is quite expensive, almost as much as the cost of the body. For lenses, we use the Super Tacoma 28mm 3.5 and the 55mm 1.8. I haven't used these lenses a lot, but I thought they would really sell the vibe that I wanted for the piece. As we were shooting with natural lighting, I did scope out the location beforehand and kind of plan the shoot around that. If you can't do that, just jump on Google, find out where the sun's gonna be, even search on Instagram, like hashtag the location. If it's a popular location, normally there'll be a bunch of photos. You can kind of gather where the lighting's gonna be. So first we shot the scene of the car driving and that was just me sitting in the back of my car while our dog wrangler was driving from there we shot the scenes inside of the car those again were just handheld or sitting in the back seat i threw on that 55 millimeter 1.8 uh, and i really wanted to get the shot of the hand patting the dog with the flares in the background so we faced the car so that the sun would kind of hit on that angle there and i would get the flares that i wanted we obviously didn't get that for the driver but if i were to shoot flares coming past the driver's face as well, it, it would it'd be kind of confusing because the sun obviously doesn't come from both directions. From there, the sun started to set quite quickly. So we were shooting the car pulling up onto the hilltop. For that, I just put the camera straight onto the, the glide cam. So why I chose the, the glide cam as opposed to using a Ronin or something as well is because I kind of wanted to sell that organic look. I wanted the movements to look organic. I didn't want things that were perfectly level or, or like robotic looking. Uh, I'm not very good with the glide cam. I only just got it. I've been trying to learn it and get better. So. They're a little bit shaky, but they work. We got there. The rest of the shots were pretty much shot on the 28 millimeter, just on the glide cam. I was using it almost as if it was handheld sometimes, just using the glide cam to add some weight and, and smooth out those micro we were talking about before. But overall, it was a very simple run and gun shoot. Nothing really went wrong apart from our dog being slightly late, which did add some time pressure. And I may have missed focus on a few shots because I didn't do them enough or check them due to the time pressure. <laughs> which is a learning, a learning thing for the future, but again, no stress, so I was just shooting this for fun. If you do feel maybe inspired to go out and shoot something just for fun, like grab your friends, grab something you like, shoot a spec commercial, you can coach a lot of your friends into being okay actors. I think dialogue is the part that's hard, but if it's something like this, you can pretty much get anyone to do it. I'm gonna go put the aircon on because it's very hot right now. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.